Hello guys, welcome to C Learning with new video. In this video, we will learn about VRRP configuration. VRRP stands for Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol, which is used for redundancy purpose uh, between devices. Normally, what happened? These two devices are connected and want to go over the internet, and uh, we define their gateway as 1.1, and uh, these devices will go and take this path to go over internet because this router is a gateway even uh, this router is connected uh, these two devices will not take this path if this go uh, link uh, got fail and uh, this devices will uh, will disconnected uh, this pc will not able to communicate over the internet because their gateway is unreachable even this device is connect and this pc will not take this path so that's why we configure vrrp and in VRRP, we give a virtual IP. Virtual IP means IP belong to uh, that network, but uh, that is uh, the virtual and the virtual IP act as a gateway. And uh, we configure this virtual IP on th these two devices. And uh, this device is act as a gateway. So I configure this device as a gateway on these two PCs. Okay. So in the, this PC is, and if this link goes down, the virtual IP will also act as gateway uh, for these devices, and uh, these PCs will also go internet through this device. So, so this is the purpose of VRRP, uh, which acts as a backup. So uh, let's go toward the configuration of VRRP. So first of all, we do the configuration on device. First of all, we give the uh, IP address on internet uh, interfaces is gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 and the IP address is 192.168.1.1 and 24 and on that interface the G001 192 sorry IP address is 192.168.10.2 uh, is this gateway and 24 and we also configure rip here and uh, rip one to version two sorry version two and the network are 192.168.1.0's network and also 10.0's network on this router and uh, now we configure here uh, system view interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 which is this interface and the IP address is 1.2 IP address is 192.168.1.2 and 24 on above internet uh, above interface G001 IP address is 192.168.10.3 and 24 we also configure RIP here because RIP is easy for short network you can also configure any other protocol but you have uh, you just you have uh, for the reachability and the network are 192.168.1.0's network and 10.0's network okay we configure now we configure this interface interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash sorry 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 system view Interface gigabit channel 0 slash 0 slash 0 and IP address would be 192.168.10.1, which is the IP address of this interface 10.1 and 24. We also configure RIP here, RIP 1 version 2, and the uh, network would be 192.168.10.0's network, only one network present here. So we configure RIP and uh, we also configure ip address on intern uh, faces now we configure uh, rip uh, vrrp so let's uh, uh, configure vrrp so what are the command so just go back we will configure vrrp on interfaces because we want only redundancy on these two interfaces so we just configure vrrp on these two interfaces because if this interface fail this link fail this interface of this device act as a backup for this network so we just configure vrrp on interfaces 
so ip uh, sorry command is vrrp vrid vrid is a group of vrrp because uh, we know through the group because uh, if we configure vrrp1 here so we also configure vrrp1 here so with these two devices we know each other through vrrp group so the virtual ip will be 192.168.1.111 one which is belongs to same network we can also configure one device act as active and other device act as backup so we will configure this device through uh, their priority so by default uh, uh, device priority is 100 vrrp priority is 100 so we increase the priority value so this device act as a backup so normally uh, vrrp so vrrp vrid1 and the priority is priority if you question mark so you can observe here the default priority is 100 so just we increase the priority to 120 so this device act as uh, active device and uh, this device on this device we also configure vrrp vrrp vrid1 sorry we go in interface gigabit ethernet 0 slice 0 slice 0 vrrp vrid one and the virtual ip we define virtual ip 192.168.1.111 and the priority vrrp vrid1 and the priority will be priority will be if you question mark so its priority is 100 so we will set this uh, leave this as a default priority so because its value will be lesser and this will act as a backup so if this device fails so this device will be at as backup. VRRP has been configured. Now we will ping uh, PCs. So first of all, we ping PC1 uh, ping 192. Sorry, ping. Uh, ping 192.168.1.111, which is the virtual IP. Yes, virtual IP is reachable from this device. Ping 192168. 1.111 yes virtual ip is reachable now we'll ping this device which is over the internet uh, let's ping 10.1 10.1 yes it's reachable from this device 10.1 uh, will also be reachable 192.168.10.1 as reachable let's trace route this 10.1 let's see uh, from which path traffic is going uh, this route Trace, trace RT 192.168.10.1. So you can observe here uh, through this one, uh, uh, 1.1, uh, traffic is going uh, from this path because this is a act, uh, active and this is a backup. If uh, active device will be a uh, fail or uh, this link is will go down, the traffic will go through this device. Let's check uh, surface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 and shut down let's uh, shut down this link so this link goes down and now traffic will uh, take this path to go over the internet so let's trace route 10.1 now you can observe it 1.2 is a uh, path from traffic so you can observe here pc1 going through this path this will ping 10.1 yes 10.1 is reachable through uh, this path from this device uh, if you want to trace RT 192 192.168.10.1 uh, then observe here this path if uh, this link recover and to shut down so all the traffic will share from this backup to this master so let's have check after some time Uh, trace route so this device is also a faster device still this way trrp if yes it's master after some time is converted into backup because uh, this master has been recovered so this device is now a trrp play vrrp this play vrrp brief vrrp brief So now this device is a master and let's check this device again yes 
this device is now at the backup because master has been recovered and this pc will take uh, trace route to this uh, path now you can observe here previously it was taking 1.2 which was this route and now it's taking 1.1 which is this path so master has been recovered traffic has been shipped from uh, backup to active so that's all for vrrp and uh, that's all for today's video if you have any questions so you can ask in comment uh, please subscribe